What's up guys, Tyler here and welcome back to a brand new video. This video will be a DC DVD update for September 2019. So as always, let's get into it. So I'll be going by cartoon stuff first and then we'll get into the live action stuff after that. So here we go. So here we got Batman the Animated Series Volume 2. So I finally got this on DVD. Very happy to have, have this in my collection. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the animated series. Best version of Batman ever in my opinion. And I hear a lot of people are not liking that Robert Pattinson has been cast as Batman for the new Batman movie in 2021. Me personally, I hope he really does a great job because I really don't want to see anyone else fail as Batman. So, I can't really speak for him when I say that he's a good actor or not because I haven't seen him in enough movies to know that or not. So, but I hope he does a great job. And here we got Batman Emissaries Volume 3. So now I have all four volumes as well as the complete series set. There's a lot of episodes on there that are my favorite. I'm a huge fan of the Adventures of Batman and Robin episodes. I've always liked that design of Robin's suit. Next up, we got Batman Beyond, Return of the Joker, and this is the original uncut version. So it's got a few extra minutes in there, and it's a little bit dark, a little bit. Not too dark like Radar, like Killing Joke or the Under Red Hood type of stuff, but just a little bit more dark. Getting in some Blu-rays over here, and cut it up with the DC Animated Universe stuff. Here we got Reign of the Superman, which is a pretty good movie. At first, I wasn't really a big fan of how they tied it into the DC New 52 Animated Universe, but I got used to it, so it's all good. Next up, we got Batman Hush. And let's say, this was a good movie. The only thing that really surprised me was the twist they did about Hush. I'm not going to spoil anything for it, but if you guys watch this movie, then you'll see what I'm talking about. And of course, Huntress isn't in here, even though she was in the original story. They changed a lot of the stuff up for the New 52 anime universe. But to be honest, I wish they would make like a separate movie for some Batman stories, like they did with Under the Red Hood, or if they are make a long Halloween movie, which. I so if it does have Robin in there, if it's Tendrick, I hope they do do that because I've always wanted to see an animated movie with Tendrick as Robin in there with his red and green suit for the 90s. So hopefully we'll get that. Anyway, moving on. You have Justice League versus the Fatal Five. This one is a pretty, pretty good movie in my opinion. Of course, it's got the big three. You got a new Green Lantern. I forgot her name. At the moment, it's something cruise. They'll come to me later. I just forgot it at the moment. And a lot of these DC animated movies are coming out lately. They have like two bonus cartoons from the DC Volt stuff from Batman Animated Series and a bunch of other stuff. This one in particular has an episode from Justice League Unlimited, which has to do with the Legion of Superheroes. And it has an episode of 
Legion of Superheroes. The first episode. Getting into the live action stuff right here. Here's the Dark Knight 2 disc special edition. So I wanted to get this specifically for the special features because you guys know I love special features. Not only did I get that, I got the Dark Knight Rises on 2 disc special edition too. So now I have all the movies for the Dark Knight Trilogy on two disc special editions. Last but certainly not least, here is Titans Season 1. And let me say, this show is pretty decent. The only thing I didn't really like about it was Starfire and Beast Boy is okay, but Raven and Robin... Definitely, they definitely do a great job, especially the guy that plays Robin. And I like the way they made his suit in the series. It actually looks pretty cool. I could tell it's kind of inspired from the Tendrake suit in the 90s and the Young Justice suit. I think Grayson had his Young Justice suit where he had the red on the side. In this case with Titans, instead of red, it's green. But I think that's actually pretty cool. And it's pretty cool that they introduced Jason Todd. We finally get a live action version of Jason Todd. Hopefully they'll do the same in that series with Tim Drake later in the future. But that's all for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later guys.